Hey guys, the build show is on the road today and I've got my son with me. Say hi, John. Hi. John's nine and he's joining me on this trip. We're heading out to Pasadena, California, where I'm gonna be doing a satellite media tour. There's a really cool carpentry competition going on in California and I'm gonna be doing a satellite media tour. How cool is that? I'm gonna be talking about the need for skilled trades and the opportunities for high school students and young adults to get into the construction industry. So stay tuned, we got a fun trip ahead. Johnny, we got our rental car. What do you think? It's cool. Okay. Let's get out of here, figure out how to get to the Rose Bowl, shall we? <laughs> no idea what this place is, but I love how old school the sign is. George L. Throop building materials. That's pretty cool. We're in uh, Pasadena. Headed towards the uh, hotel, and then I gotta figure out where the Rose Bowl is, where we're going in the morning. This just looks like uh, California right here, doesn't it? These tall palm trees, the mountains in the background here. The Rose Bowl Drive, here we are. We made it, John! What do you think? The Rose Bowl, we made it! We're here, guys! We're getting ready for the big event. They've already got the signs up. We got Skills USA. Uh, we got the Generation T logos. Lowe's is up there. It looks like Timberland Pro and Samsung are also supporting us, which is cool. There's one important element of this that, that I didn't mention yet, and that's the students. You're gonna have 300 students from Southern California here tomorrow. Um, with all varying degrees of experience in the skilled trades. And when we first began to think about this event two and a half months ago and what it was gonna look like, and initially said, do you think we can get 300 students there? Uh, the folks over at Skills USA said, not a problem. And I'm like, all right, let's see this happen. And guess what? In like a week, they had it locked. Come on, jump! Yes! Nice job, John. Oh, you feel good. Do they? Yeah. These are the mattresses that are going to go on the bunk beds, I think, that they're going to be building tomorrow at the Rose Bowl. Man, that is cool. Tuft and needle. That's pretty cool. All right, John. You want to go see the? Uh, you're going to see the stadium. Yeah. Let's do it, brother. Oh, baby, look at this. That is pretty cool, the Rose Bowl Stadium. Dang. John, run down the stairs. <laughs> look how big this place is. Holy cow, can you imagine a college football game here? I bet this is pretty insane. So many seats, so many people. We're doing a charity build here today. We've got 300 high school students that have been trained in carpentry skills through Skills USA. And that buzzing you hear behind me is the buzz of some DeWalt Sanders. We're actually making 100 bunk beds for a really cool organization called Sleep and Heavenly Peace. It's an organization that says, look, we don't want any kid in our town to sleep on the floor. And so they build beds all over the country and donate them with mattresses and bedding and everything to families in need. So here in California, as you know, they've had a ton of wildfire issues over the years. And so here they're, they're donating them to families that have had wildfire issues and have been displaced. Uh, a ton of people have lost houses and furniture and everything. And so I can imagine a lot of California kids sleeping on the floor that are gonna appreciate these bunk beds. So on today's video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a flavor of what's the organization, who are these high school kids, are any of them interested in maybe getting into our industry as carpenters? You know, we've got a whole generation of carpenters that are retiring and not enough young people getting into the business. So hopefully we'll talk to a couple of young people. And by the way, I do want to put a big plug out for my friends at Lowe's. You know, there's, they've started this organization called Generation T and they've got like 60 um, organizations that are a part of this where they're telling high school kids and young adults the story of how to get into the trades. Now when I say trades, you probably know what I'm talking about, but just in case, we're talking about plumbers and electricians, HVAC guys, 
carpenters, builders, all those trades that go into building, remodeling, and maintaining American houses and commercial buildings. So check out their website. It's imgenerationt.com is their website. But let's go see what the process is and who we've got involved here today. All right, guys, I'm here with Luke, the executive director nationally with Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Luke, what is the mission of your organization? So our mission is no kid sleeps on the floor in our town. And we, we want to make our town everybody's town across the nation and, and across the world. And today we're in Pasadena. That's going to be our town today, building bunk beds with uh, Skills USA, Generation T, um, with sponsors like Lowe's and Tufton and Needle and Samsung and Man, all those awesome. great, yeah. Awesome so these people. beds that you guys are building are actually going to get donated today, right? That's right. So when we when we take raw, uh, raw lumber, we assemble them, we cut them, we measure them, we put them together um, in pieces, and then we take them to the homes that are needing. Ah. Today, we're actually taking 100 bunk beds, so that's 200 individual beds wow. up to Paradise to help with the campfire victims up there. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's amazing, dude. That's really it's cool. awesome. Now tell me about these kids. These are all high school kids and they've been training carpenter skills through Skills USA, right? That's correct. So, you know, you know what you see here today is 300 plus kids from uh, schools around California that are part of the Skills USA uh, program. Mm -hmm. And the idea is getting these kids excited about the trade skills, yep. you know, um, which is a, a hidden gem in our in our society. People yeah. that that don't realize that the nuts and bolts and the workings of of humanity here in the states yeah, is right. is the skills you know right. and and to get these kids involved and excited about doing that what better way than putting a drill in their hand putting a sander in their hand totally. and actually uh building something no and then doubt. building something for a fellow maybe even a fellow classmate that's right know? that's pretty cool now walk me through the process luke so uh, i saw a big pile of lumber dropped off by some <laughs> semis this morning before uh oh dark 30 uh before all the kids showed up so from that big pile of lumber down there walk me through the stations that it takes to actually build one of these you bet so we knew when we first started this we needed to have um a process that was easy that people could uh young kids could follow so what it is is we broke it up in stations so we have uh, when, when we drop off raw wood, it's separated into, you know, the certain uh, sticks that we use, certain sizes, because they get measured properly, they, then they get cut, and then when they go from cutting, they go to the sanding station, which is really critical. We want to make sure there's no slivers and, and things of that nature for kids to, to grab onto. Once they're sanded, then they go to what we call the tap station, which we, uh, we have special jigs that we've made that... Uh, the, the, the kids can hammer down and it, it, it leaves marks on where the next station, which is the drill press station, where we drill out those holes. And then from there they go to uh, uh, our headboard assembly. We assemble those headboards, uh, then we brand them uh, with our with our logo brand um, and then dip them in a special vinegar slash steel wool blend, which actually puts a nice dark tint and, it, and actually uh, uh, is a deterrent for bed bugs. Yep. Um, and then we, we store them in the trucks ready for uh, delivery. Okay. That's so cool, Luke. Now tell me how people can find out more about SHB, because you guys, I heard last night, have what, 200 chapters in the US and even some in Canada? That's right, yeah. So we have over 205 trained chapter presidents across the country in 46 states um, and two in Canada and soon to be Bermuda and a lot of other places. But um, you can go to shpbeds.org. That's our website. Um, if you're if you're looking for a bed for yourself, for your neighbor, for your family, or let's say you're an organization, health and welfare, foster care, doesn't matter. Anybody that's got a child or knows a child sleeping on the floor, go to our website, click request a bed, and you can uh, uh, learn how how you can help us find those kids so we can get them beds. If you're interested in donating some time, money, you can go to our website again, learn of all the chapters, a chapter maybe closer to uh, you at home, and, and find out how you can be a part of uh, the SHP movement. Man, Luke, I really appreciate it, man. What a great organization you guys have. And how cool to see these high school kids. You know, one of the things I love about being a builder is the sense of accomplishment I get every day when I go home. And, you know, at the end of a job, I send a, a house on to a family. And for you, the same thing, right? When we leave here today, these high school kids are going to feel that sense of accomplishment. They're going to be tired and dirty. And they're going to go, look at that stack of beds that I built that are going to families in need. And hopefully some of them will transfer that into saying, well, maybe I should make a career out of helping people and making things that are going to benefit the world. And, and uh, you know, why not start with a bed for a kid in need and then maybe transfer into a career someday? You know, you know man, I, I wasn't a builder. I, I, you know, I, I twiddled around with 
with tools here and there. But when I saw the need of a child sleeping on the floor, I just knew I had to do something. Yep. And so if a guy here that didn't know much about skills or carpentry can, can put together a bed, anybody can. No, no doubt, no doubt. SHPbeds.org is the website, right? That's right. All right, man. Hey, let's see if we can find a high school kid or two that may be willing to talk to us about the day as we progress through. Thanks for being on, Luke. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank All you, right, guys. guys. Hey, guys, check it out. I met Henry from Skills USA. Henry is a junior, right, yep. Henry? And has been in the Skills USA carpentry program. And check this out. Henry's actually watched the build show before, <laughs> right, buddy? Yep. How'd you yep. find me, Henry? Uh, me and my mom built a house out in the desert, and we were looking for videos on installing insulation and your spray foam videos came up. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the build show all the way here in yep. California. Yep. Now Henry, tell me about the carpentry competition. I understand you're the state champion in the carpentry competition. Tell me about how that works. Yep, I competed in the uh, carpentry competition for Skills USA. Um, I did the regional, the regionals and I won first place in that. Um, and then I went on to state and it's all framing and um, yeah, it's framing and siding and stuff. Okay. Um, so what did you have to build during that competition? The regionals was, it looked like a little doghouse pretty much. And then state was a little lean-to shack, shed looking thing. That's awesome. And you won that as a junior, is that right? Yes, sir. Man, competing against <laughs> older students too. That's fantastic, Henry. Now, Henry, I understand you also run a beekeeping business. What is that all about? Yep. Um, when I was 12 years old, a beehive moved into our backyard and my mom was going to have them sprayed by the exterminator so I was like let's keep them so we got a beehive box and everything and I went from there and now I have a hundred beehives in LA County and I do local pollination and honey sales. Wow a <laughs> hundred beehives how cool is that Henry? <laughs> Yep. Dang, man. So how can people find out more about your beekeeping business? Um, I have a website, baldingsbees.com, and we're on Instagram and Facebook uh, for uh, baldings underscore bees. Um, and you can check us out there and find more information. Man, that is so cool. Henry, as a, uh, as a builder, i got to say the future is bright meeting <laughs> you. You give me a lot of hope for the United States. Man, we need young guys like you in this business, and I'm so glad to have met you, man. Keep up the hard work, and if you're a California builder, builder watching this, you should definitely look up this guy. When he graduates, <laughs> this is the guy you want on your team, that's for sure. Thanks, Henry. I really appreciate it, man. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, I've got Jennifer Lopez with me, who is the treasurer for the California student chapter of Skills USA. Jennifer, can you tell us about Skills USA and what it's meant for you? Um, so, Skills USA is a national organization that encourages students in the skills trade, and it helps students to... Um, find their pathway and really, you know, find what they're passionate about. And awesome. for me, Skills USA has um, helped me find that before I didn't really know what to do. That's but, so cool. Um, after being in Skills for three years, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do in and, the future. And what is that? What skills have you been working on? Um, I've been doing um, electronics technology for the past three years. Mm -hmm. I've competed in it um, at regionals and at state competitions. And then um, I've taken courses to help me um, better understand my knowledge in electronics technology. So now I'm looking about a career in either electronics technology or computer science, which is, they're related. So. Fantastic, yeah. that's so great, Jennifer. Now tell me, are any of your high school colleagues here as well? Um, yeah, so we have two of our other state officers here and over um, 200 other high school students here wow. present. I heard there's like 290 high school students here, is that right? Um, about, yeah. That's amazing. And what year in school are you, Jennifer? I'm a senior this year. Okay, good deal. And what do you think you'll do after graduation? Um, after graduation, I'm looking at a four-year college, um, hopefully, um, and then getting my bachelor's. And then um, I kind of want to get a PhD in either computer science or electronics tech. So. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Jennifer, you got a bright, bright future in front of you. Thanks <laughs> for being on the Build Show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Hey, guys, I'm here with Jason. Now, Jason is a senior in high school and has been working in skills, you say, in the plumbing uh, trade. Jason, tell me about what you've been learning in school. What I've been learning is multiple things with the plumbing trade, residential plumbing, industrial plumbing, just things around the house that not many people know how to do. That's awesome, man. And you'll actually be able to find a job probably right after you graduate in plumbing, right? Yes, I've had job offers already, and I've worked at places for plumbing already. That's fantastic. This guy's a senior in high school, 
has job offerings already. That's pretty awesome. What are you excited about uh, in a career in the plumbing world? What do you think is going to be fun for you? Um, the fun thing is that with plumbing, it's something that's never going to go away anytime soon. So there's always going to be job openings for it. And there's always going to be that supply and demand. Boy, that's for sure. And I'll tell you, in my area, plumbers are retiring. And there's not, there are some young plumbers in the job, but not enough, Jason. So I think you're in for a bright career, my friend. Thank you yeah. for joining me on The Build Show, brother. No problem. Have a great day, man. Thank you. You too. Hey, guys. I'm here with Tim, the executive director of Skills USA nationally. Tim, what an amazing event uh, you guys get to participate in with today with almost 300 high school kids here that are, my understanding is, are part of the Skills USA, mainly the carpentry programs. Is right. that right? Absolutely. They're, they're construction trade students and a few students from other trade areas. But Skills USA is a national organization that celebrates the trades. We have 427,000 students involved this year. Wow. And over the past 54 years, we've served 13 million students in the, in the trades. Oh my I gosh. was proud to be one of those students as a welding student in Southern West Virginia. That's amazing. How cool is that? Now, Tim, how can high school students or, or even adults like me get involved with Skills USA if they're not currently? Go to our website and check it out. You'll see lots of stories, success stories about students who've, who've really excelled in this program. But if there's a school in your area, a technical high school, a career tech center, or a community college that offers any kind of trades program, that's where Skills USA lives. Gotcha. So make sure you check out those programs. They're amazing. They're not like yesterday's tech programs. They're so high tech and so clean and, and, and perfect as far as their labs. Check those out. It's a great uh, pathway for young people. It's a great pathway for any people of any age. At our national competition this past year, we had 6,400 students. Uh, our youngest competitor was 13, a middle school student from Hawaii. Wow. And our oldest competitor was 73, a young lady from Arizona in welding. So That's amazing. It's, it's a very diverse organization open to anyone who wants to be involved in the trades. And Tim, I wonder how employers like me can find out more about Skills USA. What, what are some of the places that I can find out about students locally that I might hire for my business? Yeah, Skills USA has a database of, of over 6,000 schools and colleges across the country. Just uh, give us a call or, or send us an email at the, at, at the national office. It's on our website. We'll connect you to your local school by zip code, by trade area. If you're looking for carpentry, if you're looking for plumbing, if you're looking for HVAC, those students are sorted in the database by trade area, by zip code, and even by their, their year in school. So you yeah, heard Henry awesome. was, a, was a junior. We can tell you where the juniors, the seniors, and, and all the students are. Yeah, that's amazing. Tim, I want to pay a special thanks to all the uh, corporate sponsors who are involved today. Do you know who some of those corporate sponsors are? Absolutely. Lowe's has been a partner of SkillsUSA for, for 14 years now. They, they're an amazing national partner, providing millions of dollars to local schools for projects like this, like the bed build you're seeing today. But partners like Samsung, partners like Timberland Pro, the list goes on, 3M, uh, the NCCR, the Home Builders Institute, associations, all the national associations are involved with SkillsUSA in the building trades and in the construction area. That's pretty awesome. Tim, we've got a huge trade gap happening, and I know I see it on my job sites. I've got older carpenters, plumbers, electricians that are getting ready to retire. We do have some young people, but we need more of them. Uh, one website that I want to plug is imgenerationt.com. Lowe yes. started this earlier this year, and if you know a young person, a high schooler, a young adult, uh, who's interested in a career in the trades, this is a great spot where you can learn what's it mean to be an electrician, what do you do, and even what are the wages associated. I think there's a, there's a misconception in America that we're talking about low-paying jobs, but in fact, these are very high-paying jobs. And so go on that website and check it out, IamGenerationT.com. The other cool thing about that is they've got some local resources by zip code on there as well. And Tim, thank you so much for your thank involvement you. with uh, the future of America. because. You know, as a builder, this is our future. Yeah, we're we like, need we're, these young people. We're seeing the future workforce right behind us now with these 300 students that are representative of hundreds of thousands of students nationwide. That's so We've awesome. grown for 16 straight years. So young people are interested. Parents are the key audience, Make, yeah. making sure that parents understand the opportunity yep. in these technical pathways. No doubt. Thanks, Sam. Have a great day, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm here with Jordan from Bellflower High School. Now, Jordan, tell me about uh, your role and what's going on here today. Well, I brought about a dozen students out to help build beds for a uh, good cause. And we're just um, out here to learn a little bit and contribute. And tell me about your classes at your high school, Jordan. Well, I have uh, introductory woodworking, cabinet making, and construction technology at my high school. That's pretty cool. And so you, some of your students are actually going on to a career in the building world, right? Yeah, that's right. They go on to all trades, uh, plumbing, electrical, carpentry, finished carpentry, cabinet making, you name it. That's pretty awesome. Now, now you're not exactly a novice either. I, I talked to you earlier, and you, you've been in the, in the uh, business for quite a few years, haven't you? 
Um, yeah, before I taught, I was, uh, I was a contractor for 12 years of my own company and about 20 years overall in the industry. That's awesome. And you're actually uh, a master cabinet maker, is that right? Uh, I don't know if I was call myself a master, but... <laughs> I added the word master on there. I'm <laughs> sure he was a master. I try. That's awesome, man. So, hey, for someone who doesn't know about Skills USA uh, or about maybe getting involved in learning a trade in their high school, can you, can you send them to any particular source? Well, there's a Skills USA national website, um, skillsusa.org, but um, I would say, you know, for any kind of teacher who teaches a trade, I think it's the best CTSO uh, to get students interested. They provide competitions, a venue for competition, so the kids can see how they stack up. And they provide a lot of curriculum for soft skills, you know, getting students um, all the kind of soft skills that they don't necessarily learn in their tech program that can make them successful. Yeah, I was hearing some students earlier talking about how to stay organized, uh, how to interview, all those good skills. Jordan, I appreciate everything you're doing, man, for, for our business as a builder. I mean, these students out here are the future of building in America, and it's really fun that you're on the front lines for getting them trained. Thanks for joining us, man. Thank you. All right, brother. Catch you later. See you. Hey, guys, I got a special guest, Nick, who is a high school teacher teaching in the trades. Did I get that right, Nick? Yes, sir. Uh, Nick, we just had a fantastic conversation. I want to repeat some of this. But uh, tell me about what some of your students learn in your classes and what they go on to do afterwards. I teach at a, a continuation high school, alternative high school. Um, it's where students uh, get a second chance at, um, at, at finishing their high school career. Yeah. Uh, either they are lack of credits, um, may be in trouble. Um, I hate to call them at risk, but uh, what we do is we get them in the trade program at our school and, and try to, it's a way out for them. It's yeah. a way out for them um, to, to learn and make money in the field. You know, Nick, you've got a builder background. It's, it, uh, as we were talking earlier, you actually were a framer, a uh, carpentry uh, framer, rough framer on yes. the job site for many years, right? Yes, sir. Um, I, when I, right out of high school, I couldn't find any work. Um, and my, one of my buddies uh, brought me along to do some piece work. We did joists and trusses, and I, and I just fell in love. At the end of the day, you're, you know, I think most trades people are happier in life because at the end of the day, they have results. Wow, look what I built today. Look yeah, what I did today. Totally, for sure. You know, um, 100% agree. So I think, I think generally trades people are, are happier in life because at, at the end of the day, they're like, wow, look what I did today. Um, and so I did joists and trusses for years, and then uh, I moved on and started building homes. Um, followed my wife out to Utah, uh, worked, for a, worked for a company out there, and then I started my own thing. And um, uh, we went from building you know, one house a month to four houses a month. Wow. Uh, I, I trained my crew, uh, we got them going, and then unfortunately in 2008 when the economy collapsed, uh, I closed up shop and moved back to San Diego where, where my heart and family is. And, um, and then I couldn't find any work, any, any framing work because it was, a, it was a wait and it was a dying art. Nobody was building any houses. Yep. So I joined the Carpenters Union and uh, I went from building custom homes to skyscrapers. So I did that for about seven years. And then um, I had come from a, a line, long line of teaching. My dad's an auto shop teacher. Uh, my brother's a history teacher. My mom owns a Montessori schools. And um, my brother called me up and said, hey, they're hiring a construction teacher. And I said, well, they're not going to hire me. I didn't go to school, but they took a chance on me. And six years later, uh, we built our program to something pretty amazing. And you told me that you, some of your students have gone on to win some competitions, right? Yes, sir. All right, y'all, let's close the video out. The kids are actually on lunch break right now. What an incredible day I've had today. I had a bunch of media interviews. They brought me in as kind of the media guy to uh, talk to a bunch of different TV outlets around the country about what was happening here. But uh, what an incredible day. I met some great high school uh, teachers. I met a bunch of kids that are thinking about a career in the trades. I met several that, that actually have job offers already. This is encouraging, guys, to see what's happening here. I think this is happening all over in America, and we need more of this to happen. So check out the websites in the link below to get involved in some of these organizations. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.